Samira Parajanov. Uh, so the VO accompanied with the shots of various subjects, whether they're living life, working, doing their normal routines, it seems. And they seem all seemingly unaware of this camera that's focusing on them. It, it makes it feel like I'm peeking into someone's life. And that's they're very different from other docs where you'll, you'll get your collection of video and b-roll and then you have your collection of interviews and talking heads and you're talking directly to a person and the subjects are very front forward and very aware that they're being recorded in this case you have the vo that is more like a reflection it's like a recounting of a memory is telling a story how he relates to russia um how russia relates to his grandmother's spirit it's like we're following the journey of the vo right um, and then the visuals that are accompanying it, you know, don't necessarily need to tie in, yet they tie in. And then, you know, it becomes this exploration of art and culture. And then it becomes a little bit more traditional because as we're exploring the art, we're seeing it. Um, but I really did like the way it was. Um, they chose to put this together because it made it uh, really interesting. And it also made it feel like I was looking at this documentary from the perspective of the subject um in, in the VO. What better way to make tribute to an artist than through a piece of art? And that is exactly what this filmmaker accomplishes here. His beautiful words are so poetic and are fueled, of course, by getting to see and touch um things that Sergei really interacted with in his life, being in his home, uh seeing things um and personal artifacts etc they it further not only enrich our visual uh the visual component of the film itself for us getting to see these things but it clearly his access to these things enrich his words and allow them to be even more beautiful and sincere and passionate as we see the correlations between his own experiences and that of this magnificent artist that he so greatly admires and pays tribute to beautifully with this piece. Very well done. This documentary, The Mirror Parajanov, follows a director who goes to Yerevan to the house of the filmmaker, Sergei Parajanov, whose work he looks up to. Um, I think it's a really great way to do a histor historical, almost an autobiographical um, approach to looking at the filmmaker's life. Uh, we're told about his life and his inspiration through a more storytelling way. Um, and I think with the use of a few actors, as well as old photographs um, and clips of the area now, it's a really great way to help the audience connect and feel like we're actually watching the events that he's talking about in real time. Um, and especially since we're looking at the life of this artist and filmmaker um, from a different perspective, from more of his muses or from more of his fans' perspective, it's definitely adds small cinematic moments throughout while also actually seeing the art. This film is called The Mirror Parajanov. Wow, what a compelling film. What set it apart for me was the complete immersion into the life and times of this talented filmmaker. I love the endless stills of his work and shots of fascinating people and countryside. I also appreciated the segments of the young man and his journeys throughout the film. The soulful vocals and soothing orchestral music really set the contemplative tone of the piece. I also like the soothing, intelligent voice of the narrator and the visual shifts between politics and art. Well done, check it out.